Well, I have done all these videos and I don't know where they are, so I'm going to do them again. So, welcome. Uh, we're looking at a parallelogram. A parallelogram has parallel sides. Parallel sides mean same side and two angles are supplementary. And if these are supplementary and these are supplementary, then these are equal. So, opposite angles are equal. So, that's kind of what we're looking at there. So, we're asking S plus T. Well, that's equal to 180. U has to equal T. S has to equal R. All of them have to equal 360. U plus S is 180. And then R plus T or U. You could really have either one of them. Both of those are equal to 180. All right, so let's look at number 20. 20, we have some vertices. So we have negative 2. We have negative 1, 8. We have 0, 6. And we have 5, negative 10. So that's what we've got as a quadrilateral. There's a little band-aid here. I'm owie. Cut myself while cutting broccoli. I think this largest thing I've done. Still had to eat broccoli. Mm. Okay, so what are we doing? We are dilating using the center as an origin. So think of it with your little rubber bands. We've got this going on, and we want to do so set so the new one is a scale factor of one half. In other words, we want it to be half as big. So we just hopefully that makes sense that you would want it right there then. We're gonna do exactly the same thing for P. Now we need to be a little bit careful here. This goes over five, so it's gonna go over two and a half. And it goes down ten, so it's gonna go down five. So right here is over halfway, down halfway. So this would be the slope that halfway in between there. So this would be our P prime. So let's see, what did we say? That that was 2.5 over, but down 5. And that was over 2 um, and up 1. So kind of just treat them like the normal dilations um, that we've done. Alright, so let's see what this little madness is. That's not that my name is actually spelled wrong. I'm going to turn that over. And it's just making me sad. Okay. So we are looking to figure out how this one goes to this one. So this one is going over that way. Reflection across the x-axis would put it up here. So not it. Reflection on the y-axis would put it over here. Not it. Both of them are rotating 180. So even if you had no idea what was going on, those are your only options. So obviously rotating 180, but that's what's happening. It's going here and then here. And then we're trying to figure out how to go from here to here in terms of the dilation, and so we see that the scale factor needs to be half versus two. We aren't trying to get bigger, we're trying to get smaller. So C would be the answer on there. All right, this is the last one you guys wanted or that you told me about. So let's see, we started Firestone and Imperial. We go east, we turn right, we turn right again. So we've really got a nice little right triangle there, and we just want to know the total distance. So Obviously, we have 12 plus 9 already, but we also need to figure out this one here. So we have a little Pythagorean theorem. So C squared is equal to 225, and C is equal to 15, I think. Yes. So if I add all those three numbers together, I get a grand total of 36 miles. And that's it, folks.